You've caught me in my uh, Sunday afternoon leisurely activity of reading the original Greek of the Iliad and smoking my pipe. My name is Lance Higdon and I play on Wall of One Side. <laughs> Kind of this indeterminate place between composition and improvisation. And to me, that's what's really interesting is that you have in, you have intentions and purposes. So it's not just entirely, you know, aleatory or whatever. But there's still an element of chance that um, will influence again the way that you compose. And so there's kind of this nice interplay between something organic and something that's a little more abstract. I'm a pretty traditional Catholic. You know, one of the one of the primary themes of you know, Catholic spirituality or Catholic philosophy is the the absolute interdependence of the abstract, the material, of the, of the mind and the body, and that you know really the problems you know kind of things that noise kids have been reacting to is the end product of that Cartesian division between body and mind, and that's you know and that as one of my professors put it, that's not a problem that needs to be solved; that's a problem that needs to be ignored. So for myself, in um, in the noise that I make, um, part of it is devotional just in so far as like anything I do musically is going to be a reflection of my faith and what I believe you know that the apocalypse is a, it's gonna be this great you know this moment both of the complete end of all things and the simultaneous renewal of everything and to me that's you know in that's how I can kind of elevate noise music above nihilism into something that is particularly Christian is that in my noise you know or the, the sounds that I'm making I'm taking sound sources and kind of deconstructing them and they're like obliterating and falling apart into distortion and whatnot but at the same time there's a beauty coming out of it and to me, whenever I'm playing, I, I'm kind of have in mind uh, the image of the world, you know, this world passing and the next one coming in. I mean, my, my main influences on what I do are not even sonic, it's people like Flannery O'Connor or Gerard Manley Hopkins. You know, and this is, you know, this is certainly something that's a common thread through a lot of experimental music. Music is kind of getting in the cracks of how things are supposed to work kind of exposing alternate, you know, hidden paths or alternate approaches that someone, you know, re repurposing, you know, repurposing what you have towards another, another end. <laughs> 